welcome to my channel nurse rachel and crafts today i wanted to do a video of my finishes for 2022 so for me this year with diamond painting i loved every chance that i got to do it this year i didn't have a lot of time i started a new job and my life has just been different from 2021 but each and every opportunity that i got to do this amazing craft i just really loved it and enjoyed myself and so i'm just so grateful that this hobby exists because it has just been wonderful for my mental health so for me with diamond painting i need three things in order to do it i need the time the energy and the desire to do it so when all three of those things aligned, which didn't happen often this year, but when they did, I was able to finish 14 with an honorable mention. <laughs> so this painting here, this is my honorable mention, you guys. If you saw my last video where I was kind of giving an update on my whips a couple weeks ago, I had asked my family if I would be able to finish this monster of a painting, and they told me absolutely not. They said, no, you, you cannot. And while they were correct in my defense, I just wasn't in the mood, y'all. And for me, I am 100% a mood down painter. So I just was not in the mood to work on it. I didn't want to work with old drills. I didn't want to work on a super confetti heavy canvas. I just didn't feel like it. At that time when I asked them, I was working on three whips total. So I did finish two out of three of those whips, but yeah, I did not finish this one. So my good friend Maritza from Kiss My Craft, she is doing a year long event called Year of the Whips. So this will be the one that I will be bringing into January and hopefully I can finish this one in January. Maybe, we'll see. All of my paintings this year were from Diamond Art Club, everything that I did. I do want to mention that I do have a mystery kit in this video. It is mystery kit number 18, the one by Rika Sophia Reckonen, I think is how you say her name. I will save that kit for the very end of the video and I will give you a warning and give you plenty of time to click off the video before I show it because I really do not want to spoil that kit for anyone. This one, this is Fuji Flora by Dominic Davidson. It is 105 by 70 centimeters. It has 66 colors with three ABs. And yeah, y'all, it's a beast. Y'all hear that? <laughs> it is a monster, a monster of a painting. It's so massive, but yeah, I love it. Now, I will link all my videos where I do my post reviews and whip updates just so that if you want more in-depth info about these paintings, like my thoughts and the drills and trash and all that, you can see that in those. But yeah, this painting is beautiful and I'm almost done, y'all. I think a couple weeks ago when I made that video, I think I was maybe right here maybe so i did this little section down at the bottom and then up here but yeah i just i wasn't in the mood i was like you know what no <laughs> no this can be a finish for 23. let me see and it's so heavy but yeah Fuji flora you probably won't see this painting again, though, until I finish it. Because this painting has been featured <laughs> in a few videos now. So I'll bring this one back when it's all done. But yeah, Fuji Flora, loving it so far. Now I will start in order of when I finish them. So the next painting will be my first finish of 2022. All right, so the first one that I finished in... 2022 was Beauty and the Beast by Mandy Manzano. This is 42 by 59 centimeters. It has 38 colors with 1AB and it's round drills. And I absolutely loved it. I rated this one a 5 out of 5. I just loved everything about it. 
This is Dem Art Club's old round drills. And as I always say, I never, ever, ever have an issue with Dem Art Club's round drills. Not ever. I love them. This is absolutely beautiful. Mandy Manzano is my favorite artist. I love how she blends her colors in. It's just spectacular. Like, look at this. Look at the blending of her colors. Her art is so distinctive as well. And yeah, I just love Mandy. I love how Dumb Art Club renders her art. And yeah. It was beautiful. Such an awesome way to start the year off. I loved everything, everything about it. So Beauty and the Beast by Mandy Manzano. Five out of five. Love it. Next up, I did London View by Lasima. This one is, let me see the size here. It is 71 by 55 centimeters. It is square drills. It has 22 colors with two ABs. And y'all, just look at this. <laughs> I absolutely loved this. I believe I did this for the Ticket to Ride event and i need to pick out another one so that i can do that event again it was so much fun i loved it but yeah y'all this painting is just so beautiful i was never bored you would think with all that gray i would be bored no there's a ton of gray shades in there and yeah it was just really fun to do. One thing that helped me to not be bored also, though, was that I started on this side of the painting. So I got a lot of that gray and brown done. And then I saved this big old wonderful, glorious tree for last. So, yeah, definitely helped me to not be bored. Again, I do have a full post review of this painting up on my channel and I will link it in the description so that if you want to know my full in-depth thoughts on this beauty, you can watch it there. But yeah, I rated this one a 4.75 out of 5 and I think that was just because I had ran out of a few gray colors these were old drills and so a lot of the grays did have a lot of tabs on them so yeah i ran out of a couple colors i think so yeah london view by Lysima. it's so beautiful love it so much love it Okay, next up is Harry Potter versus Voldemort. This is 51 by 76 centimeters, round drills, 39 colors with four ABs. And yeah, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That's going to be a common theme with me. I love them all. I believe this was my first time working with all new round drills where every single drill was the new round drills from DAC. You see that sparkle? Woo! 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 So Kate or Pixie Sticks here on YouTube, she does the renderings for Dumb Art Club. Well, the main one who does the renderings for Dumb Art Club. And I just remember thinking when I did this painting that Kate is phenomenal. The skin on Harry and Voldemort, it is so detailed. It's a ton of confetti in their skin. It was done perfectly. There's so much texture in their skin. Like Voldemort, you can see his wrinkles 
it was just beautifully done. And I remember thinking that as I was working on this and as I was seeing it come together, like this is phenomenal. The rendering on this is phenomenal. Look at that. I rated this one a five out of five because yeah, it, it was just that good. <laughs> it is just that good. Look at that sparkle. Woo. Harry Potter versus Voldemort. Love, love, love. Beautiful. Next up, I did Willow by Hannah Lynn. This is 42 by 59 centimeters, square drills, 40 colors with three ABs. Look at this beauty, y'all. Now, this is Diamond Art Club's old drills, but do y'all see that sparkle? Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. I love Hannah Lynn and her art is just so whimsical. It's fun, easily puts you in a good mood. And the vibrant colors on this one, I just love it. Absolutely loved this one. It is just so pretty. So beautiful. I rated this one a four and a half out of five. And it was because of the black drills. These were Diamond Art Club's old drills. So the black drills had a ton of tabs on them. So what I did was I just opened up a couple of newer kits that I had with Diamond Art Club's new square drills and I switched them out. So I think I only worked with the old black drills up here. And then I said, absolutely not, I refuse. <laughs> and then uh, the rest of the painting, I used the new drill. So it was wonderful. So yeah, just knocked off half a point because of the old black drills. Look at that. Ooh, so beautiful. Love, love, love it. Then we have Solar System by Image World. This is 76 by 56 centimeters. It is square drills. It has 62 colors with two ABs. I did this one for my son. He uh, saw this one. Well, I saw it and then I showed it to him online. And I said, hey, do you like this? <laughs> because he loves um, astronomy. He just, he loves all things outer space. And he loved it. And he said, yes, please, would you do that one for my wall? So this has been hanging on his wall since, um, I think I finished this in the spring. So... Yeah, this has been on his wall and he loves it. I love it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. This painting had a mixture of new and old drills. Beautiful. So very beautiful. I rated this one a 5 out of 5 because it was just perfection. But yes, I absolutely love this painting. It was such a joy to work on. No opportunities to get bored. So colorful. So very pretty. I loved it. And my son loves it. Solar system. Beautiful. Okay, next is Swan Lake by Claudia McKinney or 
Fat Puppy Art. This is 55 by 109 centimeters. It has 12 colors with one AB. It is round drills. And I love this one so much. You know, this video is just showing me how much I love big paintings. <laughs> you know, they are awesome to work on, but whoo! Trying to display them is a challenge. So yes, you guys, Swan Lake, I love this one so much. I remember when I first saw this, early 2021, I fell in love with it. I remember it was out of stock for quite some time. And I think I got this as like a pre-order. Y'all, I love it so much. I was just astounded by the rendering of it and how much of a phenomenal job Diamond Art Club did with the rendering. It is right up my alley. I love dark colors. I love this type of setting. Look at those trees, y'all. It is just so beautiful. These are Dumb Art Club's old round drills. And it was just wonderful. <laughs> My arm is killing me right now. <laughs> Holding this up. But y'all, I love it so, 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 so much. I gave this one a 5 out of 5. Easy, easy 5 out of 5. You would think with the painting being only nine colors, one is black, one is the AB, which was like a mint green, and then the other seven colors are blues. You would think I would be bored. No, not at all. Isn't it so beautiful? Oh my gosh. All right, I'm going to stop showing this one only because... <laughs> My arm is killing me. But yes, Swan Lake by Claudia McKinney. A definite 5 out of 5. Beautiful. Then I did Akimi by Sylvia Strijic. This is Round Diamonds, 51 by 71 centimeters. It has 32 colors with 4 ABs. This was a sneak peek that I did for Diamond Art Club. And I remember... When I saw this image, I just immediately fell in love with it. It's weird. And I love a good weird art piece. I absolutely loved it. I love the colors, the image, just everything about it. This painting is all new diamonds. And I'm not even twisting the picture around. And you can see the shimmer. <laughs> I'm, see I'm looking at it through the camera. And it's already like glistening. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh. I believe I was working on this around spring slash summer and just working on all those beautiful greens. It was just so fitting. Starting with her, I started rating my paintings out of 10 stars and I gave her nine out of 10. And it was because I just found myself getting a little bit bored with some of the colors here. I probably should have started at the bottom because all I wanted to do was work on the greens. And so I was kind of trying to rush to get through the top part so I can get to those greens down there. And then I remember that one of the drill colors, um, it might have been one of the cream color ones, but it was giving me a hard time. A lot of the drills were concave on the bottom in that color. So it was just giving me a little bit of a hard time. But yeah, other than that, it was truly wonderful to work on. And look at it. Look at how glistening this is. And I just love Sylvia Strijic. I love her art. 
nice and weird and different, unique, and I love that. So yes, this is a Kimi. So pretty. Beautiful. Then there is Black Girl Magic by Christina Loray. This is 51 by 66 centimeters, round drills. It has 30 colors with two ABs. And yeah, another, another winner. Absolutely loved it. I wanted to do something with a lot of color blocking. I was just having that itch. And this definitely scratched it. I loved it. It was so super easy to work on. I could just empty my mind and just multi place to my heart's content. I think this is the one where I was really practicing with my seven placer. So all of that red background was just done with my seven placer. And it was so satisfying. This is, they feel like the new round drills, uh, much more sharper. And yeah, barely any trash in these. I loved that the brown shades were actually brown <laughs> and not red or orange or pink. She is a black girl and she totally looks like a black girl. So I really appreciated that about the drills, that the skin tone was perfection. Absolutely loved it. I rated her a nine and a half out of 10. And that was because <laughs> with all this red background, the guide circle matched really closely to the background color. And that was my first time kind of working on a canvas like that from Diamond Art Club where the guide circle was extremely faint. And so I found it more challenging to know where to place my drill. I just wasn't used to that. But yeah, that's why I knocked off half a point. But yeah. She's so beautiful. I had such a fun time working on her. I love Christina's girls. And yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Then I did Spirit of the Lake by Roberto Nieto. This is 56 by 79 centimeters square drills. It has 27 colors with four ABs. Y'all, when I say I love everything about this painting i mean i love everything about it i am a huge fantasy and sci-fi girly so this was just giving me all the fantasy vibes that i love i think i said in my post review of this one that it felt like a brandon sanderson novel <laughs> And it does. I just love it. I want to visit this world. I love it so much. I love the pastel colors up here at the top. And then it goes down into my favorite type of shades here. All those dark colors. Oh, I just love it. These are Diamond Art Club's new square drills. Well, the square drills that all have 13 facets on them. And so trash was very minimal. Drills fit so perfectly next to each other. Yeah, look at that. It just looks like liquid glass. Look at that. So shiny. So beautiful. Now this one is discontinued. So while you cannot find it on Diamond Art Club's website, you can definitely get it from a D stash group. Now with this one, this rating was a bit lower. With my ratings, it's never about the image. It's always about my enjoyment. So I rated this one a 7 out of 10. And it was because I did run into some issues with the grid lines and the 
background color once again being too similar so if i'm remembering correctly i believe it was the purples and this color blue here where the grid lines and the background color were so very similar so i was having a hard time knowing where to place my drill and because those two colors are pretty dominant especially in that top part of the painting it did rob me of some enjoyment drill placement is important to me that's a big part of my enjoyment factor with diamond painting and so it was stressing me out to the point where i didn't even want to work on it for a while and i never have those kind of feelings with a diamond art club painting so yeah that was definitely new and different for me but once i got down here at the bottom it was perfection so yeah y'all this video is a workout <laughs> Woo. but yeah i love it absolutely love it i hope we get more from Roberto, because everything he's come out with, I really loved. So yeah, Spirit of the Lake. Next up is SpongeBob SquarePants by Viacom. It is 51 by 76 centimeters. It has 58 colors with four ABs. It's square drills. I am a huge SpongeBob SquarePants fan. I grew up on this show. I love it. And it really didn't take much to sell me on SpongeBob. But then you throw in all those beautiful colors and yeah. It was an absolute yes for me. The rendering is spectacular. The colors are phenomenal. All of these drills are the ones with 13 facets. So it just glistens. Absolutely spectacular. On the shine. So vibrant. I love, love, love it. I rated this one an 8 out of 10, and it was because I ran into some issues with this one as well. So, all my issues happened up at the top of the painting. So, firstly, I didn't get this color sent to me. It was not in my drills. I got the wrong color. So, I had to wait a week for this color to come in. And then, I ran out of a drill this pink color here even though it wasn't a lot of trash in that color I just didn't have enough so I needed seven more drills I pulled it out of my spares but the colors don't match but I did not want to contact Diamond Art Club just for seven drills and then back to this color the grid lines and the background color match too closely so I struggled a little bit with knowing where to put my drills and then these drills that they sent me they aren't the diamonds that all have 13 facets these are diamond art club's old drills that have a mixture of 9 and 13 so these drills were just more tabby um, a lot more trash in this color but yeah as i said all those issues happen way up here at like the first one third of the painting and everything else was smooth sailing after that but yeah, because there were a number of issues, I did have to knock off a couple points for that. But yes, I absolutely love it. I love it so, 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 so much. Beautiful. SpongeBob SquarePants. Next up, I did Vixie by Hannah Lynn. This is 42.6 by 60.8 centimeters. It is round drills, 36 colors with four ABs. So this was my second Hannah Lynn of the year. I love Hannah Lynn. 
honestly, y'all, I have to pace myself with hers because if I don't, I'll just do her and Mandy Manzano all year <laughs> and throw Dominique Davidson in there. So, yeah, I have to try to mix it up a little bit. But, yeah, I love Hannah Lynn. I love her girls. I love her art style. All that black outlining. Yes, it speaks to me. I love 310, so it's no surprise I love her, Mandy, and Micah Jelena. Some of my faves. These are all new round drills. Y'all see that sparkle? Woo! Yes! All that purple and green and orange. I love it. I rated this one a 9 out of 10. And it was because it's always usually about drill placement for me. So in these purple colors... The grid line, I really couldn't see it. Diamond Art Club, they're, they're changing how they do their round drill canvases. So the guidelines are super faint. And me, I'm somebody who relied on those guide circles. <laughs> so, you know, it was just more challenging for me. I definitely got the hang of it eventually. But yeah, it did take me a little bit to get used to it. But yeah, she's so beautiful. It was so much fun. This was my Halloween project. And yeah, I loved it. Love, love, love. So pretty. Vixie. Next up is Giselle by Mandy Manzano. This is 42 by 125 centimeters. It has 43 colors with one AB. It is round drills. And yes, it is discontinued. If you are familiar with Diamond Art Club and Mandy Manzano's panel princesses, then you know that all of them, as far as the princesses, have been discontinued. And I was so blessed to have an opportunity to purchase this one from a lovely seller in a D-Stash group. And yeah, I absolutely love this one. I love Mandy's Princesses. I always say that I wish I had known about Diamond Art Club sooner because I definitely 100% would have collected them all. <laughs> 100%. Again, I just love Mandy's art. I love how she blends her colors. It's just spectacular. So beautiful. I'm going to roll this <laughs> down a little bit. So I can show you the bottom too. It is long. <laughs> this painting is long. It's long but thin, so I really didn't feel like I was spending a ton of time on it. So, that was nice. All those beautiful pinks and purples. Look at her. So pretty. Now, surprisingly, I rated this one. A nine and a half out of ten. <laughs> uh, because I'm petty. No. It was because I was getting bored with some of the brownie yellow colors. I just wanted to work on the pink. I only wanted to do pink and purple. <sighs> you know. <laughs> so yeah, I guess that is a petty reason to knock a point off. But again... I'm just being honest. It was just about my enjoyment of it. So yeah, I did knock off a little bit. I only wanted to do the pinks. And I would get to like a brown or yellow section and be like, oh, when is the pink coming back? <laughs> oh, but yes, absolutely love it. Super grateful that I got an opportunity to purchase her 
and work on her. It was wonderful. Love, love, love it. All right, my next finish is Chris by Micah Jolina. This is 56 by 71 centimeters, round drills, 45 colors with two ABs. And this was my very first Micah that I've ever worked on. I have almost everything she's released with Dumb Art Club, but this was my first actual time working on one of her paintings and I love it. Again, it has a lot of black in it. Not as much as a Mandy Manzano or Hannah Lynn, in my opinion, but it definitely uses a lot of black for outlining, and that is right up my alley. I just loved this one. This was my Christmas painting, and <laughs> this was my type of Christmas painting, you know? When you think of Santa Claus, or when you think of Kris Kringle, are you thinking of a girl? <laughs> but yeah, I love it. I loved it. It was just so much fun to work on. Absolutely beautiful. This is Diamond Art Club's old round drills. So, like I always say, I never have an issue with the round drills. Barely any trash. I did not run out of any colors. I didn't even come close. But yeah. Look at her pretty. Look at her pretty eyes. Look at her eyes. Look at her face. Oh, I just love it. This painting had a wonderful balance of confetti and color blocking, which is my favorite. I love to be able to get a bit of both her tattoo all of this is a cheetah print <laughs> confetti straight confetti i was placing one drill at a time these cookies i believe that is down here confetti up here on her head here all of this back here i think that's the christmas tree and the wreath the garland Confetti, total confetti. The reds, there were so many different shades of red and brown in this painting. So the shading is just spectacular. I also love how deep the red shades are. Love it. A true, true joy to work on. Love this one. And yeah, I'm so glad that my very first mica piece was so much fun to work on. So, more of an excuse to buy more. Yes. I rated this one a 10 out of 10. Easy. Easy, easy 10 out of 10. Love it. Beautiful. All right, so now I'm going to get into that mystery diamond painting. It's mystery number 18 by Rika Sophia Raikkonen. So yes, if you have that one, if you're interested in buying that one and you do not want to be spoiled, please click off. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. I hope you enjoyed this video. All right, I'm gonna give anybody who wants to click off a chance to click away. Click away. I'm going to spoil it. I'm going to spoil mystery number 18. Click off, click off. Okay, and here it is. All right, so this is mystery kit number 18 by Rika Sophia Raikkonen. It is 35 by 25.6 inches. It has 56 colors with four ABs and this is simply spectacular. It is square drills. All of Diamond Art Club's mystery paintings so far have been square. I think because she is so very heavy, I might just pan over this for you so that you can see all the beautiful detail, you guys. I was so nervous about working on a mystery painting because 
of the black and white canvas, I thought truly that I would be bored. And then I heard some people say that the blank canvas was giving them a headache. For me, I did not experience that at all. I felt more like the blank canvas was more on the gray tone. And so that didn't bother my eyes at all. And then I was not bored at all. It was magnificent seeing this blank black and white canvas turn into such a vibrant image. I am now a true believer and fan of Mystery Kids. I am so excited to work on another one. It was just wonderful. I loved everything about it. This spoiler alert, this is 10 out of 10. <laughs> I rated this a 10 out of 10. There was no parts of this that I did not enjoy. I just loved everything about it. Um, this painting had a balance of color blocking and confetti. Her hair was straight confetti. Her top was confetti. The fishes were the flowers in the background. Oh my gosh, those sea turtles. Whew. <laughs> those sea turtles, confetti. But the background, the water, and her skin, that was color blocking. So it was really satisfying working on a section and being able to work through it super fast because I was multi-placing. I tried as much as I could to use my seven placer as much as I could. So I really was going through some of these sections very quickly. I just love it, you guys. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. And with panning it, you can't see how shimmery and shiny it is. You can't pick that up with that. But yeah, these are all Diamond Art Club's diamonds that have the 13 facets on it. And it glistens like water. Like water. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> it's so heavy. It's so heavy. My hand is cramping at the thought. I haven't even lifted it all the way up yet. My hand is like, why are you doing this? But look at that. Look at that sea turtle. Look at her pretty face. Y'all see how it glistens? Y'all, it's just so beautiful. I remember seeing this one and just thinking, how did they render it like this? They are phenomenal. Look, look at that sea turtle. Look at that. I also love that this painting had so many fish in it because I really didn't know that it had that many fish. So I will always be surprised when I would step away and see another fish. I would be like, where did you come from? Look at this. Y'all, spectacular. Let's see if I can, ooh, look at that shine. Yeah, 10 out of 10. <laughs> easy, 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 10 out of 10. So yes, this was my 2022 year in review, my 14.5 <laughs> completed diamond paintings of the year. Again, I just had such a wonderful time. I love this craft. I thank God that I gave it a chance because it is wonderful and it has done wonders for me and my stress. One of my goals that I want to do though for next year is work on paintings from artists that I've never done before. So of course, I have to have Mandy and Hannah Lynn in there. I have to. But maybe I'll do like my first Abraham Hunter, a Christopher Lavelle, a Richard Lorenz painting, Ennis Guerrero. You guys, I have, I think I have everything that Ennis has come up with. Yes, everything. And I've never done one. So yeah, I have to do her. But yeah, y'all, I Hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And yeah, until next time, y'all. Bye.